Hey kids, do you want to learn about fluoride? Mm, yeah. Awesome! Let's do it! Fluoride is an anion of fluorine, a naturally occurring earth mineral and part of the periodic table of elements. It's anionic because it has just one more electron than just basic boring old fluorine. Fluoride is very abundant on the planet, usually found in the form of fluorite crystals, ooh, pretty, as well as trace elements found naturally within different types of food and in different rivers and streams. Fun fact, all tea leaves contain naturally occurring fluoride. So what's the big deal with this chemical, and why is all this controversy surrounding it? Well, for the most part, it has to do with something called water fluoridation. But before we get there, let's look at what fluoride is used for. The majority of fluoride is used for industrial purposes, like aluminum smelting or in the production of steel. We also use it to make hydrofluoric acid, which is invaluable for recycling because it helps to break down glass. Well, hey, now, that seems a little strange. Didn't you say something about water? Why would we put an industrial chemical in our water? What a great question. But to answer that, we're going to have to travel backwards in time. News Brief, January 25th, 1945. Our top story. The brave men of our armed services have officially won a strategic victory over the Nazis in the Battle of the Bulge. In music news, Von Moore makes the top of the billboard with let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. But first, what a fluoridation. Grand Rapids, Michigan will be the first U.S. town to undergo an addition of the miracle chemical to the public water. The effects of fluoride in preventing tooth decay has been noticed in the past, but intrepid scientists hope that this test will crack the code on how and why it works. And after the Grand Rapids test, a bunch of other tests were done all around the world, and they all found the exact same thing. A reduced amount of tooth decay. Wow! Okay, well, that's interesting and all, but how does that work? Tooth decay is an infectious disease. It forms a plaque on your teeth, which in turn, they produce an organic acid, which starts to eat away at your enamel. We usually fight this through various different minerals and nutrients that are secreted through our saliva, and we call this remineralization. Now your teeth start to decay when the decay is faster than your saliva can remineralize it. Fluoride helps because fluoride forms a type of protective boundary around what you have surviving of your enamel. In this way, it doesn't really stop cavities from happening, but it kind of slows down tooth decay, so it's way more manageable. Hey man, you can't confuse me with that mumbo jumbo! I read on the internet that fluoride is an endocrine disruptor! I bet you have. The truth of the matter is, there's absolutely no verifiable research that suggests in any way that fluoride affects your endocrine system. Instead, we have over 70 years of research all saying the same exact thing. Fluoride is safe. But, but it calcifies your pineal gland! Uh, and, and what exactly is your, uh, your pineal gland? Only your third eye, duh! Right. Besides, they're trying to poison us. It, it, it causes ADHD. It numbs your brain. It, this is about mind control. Really? Okay, well, when you put it like that, it sounds kind of silly, but maybe they're trying to get rid of their toxic waste by just putting it into the water supply. Okay, let's break this one down, because this always kind of confused me. If you're trying to get rid of industrial waste, which is strange, because fluoride is valuable and useful, why would you ship it all the way up into a city's water supply? Those are usually pretty inaccessible places, and it just seems kind of strange to me. If you're this evil shadow corporation or whatever, why wouldn't you just dump it into the ocean or the streams or something? Why hide it in drinking water? That seems... dumb. <laughs> well, it's still toxic! So you remember how I mentioned tea earlier? Well, the reason why I did is for comparative analysis. You see, most adult humans need to drink about three liters of water a day. And if you're drinking it from a municipal tap system that has been fluoridated, you're going to receive from those three liters about 2.433 milligrams of fluoride daily, just from your water. Now, contrast that with a cup of black tea. And black tea naturally has its own fluoride in it. You don't got to add anything to it. That one cup has 0.8 something milligrams of fluoride. So three cups of black tea is the same as 
three liters of municipal tap water, as far as how much fluoride you're getting. But why is this important? Well, because when it comes to chemistry and food science, really it's the dose that makes the poison. Too much of any one thing is obviously going to be bad for you. And we understand fluoride. We've understood it for a long time. We, we know how it works. But to really illustrate the point of how much we know a safe, acceptable level is, to have a toddler, a small <laughs> child, get any negative effects whatsoever from water fluoridation, he would have to sit down and drink over 20 gallons of water in one sitting. That's a lot of water. The truth of the matter is, is that fluoride is a benefit to society, and we've been studying it for over 70 years. And in that time, seven decades worth, there's been plenty of time to show that it harms anybody in any way. And if actually there was harm, real verifiable data that's, that showed it could hurt somebody, that person would have won a Nobel Prize. That's a big deal. But, but, but conspiracy! Shh, no, 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 no. It's okay, you can relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Holliday and I make videos on science, skepticism, reason, all sorts of crazy stuff. If you like what I do, please hit the like, maybe subscribe. If you think that I'm totally awesome, you can support me on Patreon. And yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye. You see, most people don't actually understand, but the Illuminati is totally real, okay? The Illuminati has existed for hundreds of years. They control your media, they control your drugs, they control your food supply, they control everything. They've been around and they've been lurking in the shadows. Hey! Hey! No! 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 no, 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 no.